immigration advocates, legal and otherwise, are up in arms over the recent crackdown on illegal aliens in the United States. ICE has ramped up its efforts to capture and deport illegals under Donald Trump, and it's driving some people batty. Deputy Director of Make the Road New York Theo Oshiro stated that, W. Hat we've seen is that the incidents in Staten Island are consistent with what we've seen with the surge of ICE activity in the last week. He's speaking of the crackdown of almost 200 illegal aliens in at least six states. Reports indicate that ICE agents have arrested five men in Staten Island, four of whom are fathers. In Staten Island, five men were arrested, with four of them being fathers of U.S. citizens. Carlos Vargas a member of Make the Road New York's legal services team, said that in one case, two plainclothes officers approached a hard-working father at 5.30 a.m., showed him a few pictures of people for whom they were looking and subsequently arrested and detained him. When asked if any of the people arrested his criminal records, Oshiro said he wasn't sure. What we do know is that the raids tear families apart and have a huge and negative impact on communities regardless of criminal records. If a person is in the country illegally, then they are criminals. Their first mistake was breaking the law to get into America. Alternately, raids don't tear families apart because nobody is forcing the wife and or children to stay in the states. If these illegals had been so worried about being separated from their families when they were considering sneaking across the border, maybe they would have reconsidered doing so. Immigration advocates are calling on elected officials to stand by their immigrant communities, something that would encourage people to continue to break the law. A slippery slope for a lawmaker. USA Politics Today contributed to this report. Its news exposed signing off.